Hello all. So today I'm talking about a Toyota with the P0348 code, what it is and how you go about fixing it. So what is a Toyota P0348 code? Well, it's a camshaft position sensor A circuit high bank two. And what does this mean? Well, the onboard computer uses the camshaft position sensor to know the location of the camshaft as it spins. And it's seen an error inside this circuit, so it'd have to be troubleshooted as to why. And the main cause of this is either going to be a bad camshaft position sensor or in the wiring. And with Toyotas, there could be one camshaft position sensor or there could be two. And with this code, the very likely is going to be two and it's going to be sensor A. So you have to Google it on your particular Toyota engine since there can't be some differences. But you'll want to find the camshaft position sensor A since there very likely is going to be two of them. And most people would just go ahead and swap out the camshaft position sensor since that's usually the problem. And then they go to the wiring if there's any problem with that. But the wiring's easy to look at too, as long as you have a meter. And basically what's going on with this is older Toyotas, they had two wires. And in some new ones, they could have four. But by far, the most common is going to be three wires. And basically, you'll have a ground in the middle. You'll have voltage that's always going to the plug when the key's in the opposition on one of these outer pins. And it's usually 12 volts, but it can be 5 volts or 8 volts. You'll need schematics for your particular Toyota to know for sure what, what the voltage is and everything. As long as you're getting voltage to one of these outer pins that powers it when the key's in the opposition, is what you want to look for. And then the other wire is the signal wire that's going back to the onboard computer. And what many mechanics will do is they'll take a known good sensor, they'll attach it to this harness, and they'll go from the ground wire to the signal wire back to the onboard computer, and they'll put a piece of metal right directly in front of the sensor, and it'll go like 5 volts to 0 volts, and they'll know the whole circuit's working. And there's some YouTube videos on that if you want to check it out. But that's just a real quick, easy way that many mechanics use to test if the whole circuit's working. And one thing also is that if you're not getting no reference voltage, if you're not getting no voltage to one of these outer pins when the key is in the on position, then very likely there's a blowing fuse. There could also be an open in the wire, but a blowing fuse is a common problem. And it's usually located inside the engine compartment. And there'll be a fuse inside there like labeled like EM2 or SNS. You have to Google it for your particular Toyota, but it's very commonly in there. It could be up underneath the dash, but it's usually inside the engine compartment. So if you're not getting no voltage to this, no power to this plug, then check for a blowing fuse. And so if you check for all that, if the wiring's good, there's no blowing fuses or anything like that, then very likely you will have to change out the camshaft position sensor. And these are low cost parts. They're not extremely expensive. There's one for 87, but they're usually like $20, $30. So they're not high cost parts or nothing. And changing these out on a Toyota is usually an easy task. They're usually located right on the top of the engine and you just pop out the bolt pop off the harness, pop out the old one, pop in the new one, bolt it back in and put the harness on and that's usually it. And while Toyotas can have one sensor with this code, it's very likely there's going to be two sensors. So you have to Google which one's sensor A and many people would just go ahead and swap out both sensors, but this code is pointing to sensor A so that one would need to be swapped out. And so that's basically it. I just want to give a real quick brief overview of how you go about fixing a Toyota with the P0348 code. If you have anything to add, please comment down below. If you have any questions, ask me and I'll try to answer them. If this video helps you. Please click like, please click subscribe and have a good day.